Welcome to another exciting video from the Golden Mindset. If there was any ship after the Titanic that people trusted, it was the MV Explorer. It was the first ship in the world designed to sail in ice. Its performance was so impressive that it set a world record by saving many other ships in Antarctica. On November 27, 2007, in the dark and desolate Southern Ocean, a significant accident happened with the ship. The captain had no choice but to abandon the ship in the ocean and jump out. Dear friends, in the 1960s, calving through Antarctica was nearly impossible. The sea was mostly covered with ice, making it very challenging for regular ships to pass through successfully. Eric Lindblad, a Swiss-American businessman, took on the challenge and decided to design and build a ship that could easily travel through Antarctica, allowing people who dreamt of visiting Antarctica to see it. A special ship named Lindblad Explorer was designed for this purpose. It was 240 feet long and weighed more than 2,300 tons. While smaller than the historically famous ships Titanic and RMS Olympic, Lindblad Explorer was the strongest of them all. It was the first ship made with the purpose of allowing people to travel in the ice waters of Antarctica. Regular ships can't fulfill the purpose. When normal ships need to navigate in ice waters, they typically have an icebreaker fitted on them. However, this ice cast one a ship didn't require an icebreaker. The design of the ship allowed the ice to break under the weight of the ship. This ship had space for 104 passengers and 54 crew members. In addition to all the luxurious facilities, the cruise ship featured a bowsprit made with a double layer to protect it from the floating ice of Antarctica. The moment the ship was launched, it gained fame worldwide. People worldwide began to wish and plan their travels to Antarctica on this ship. Although its original name was Lindblad Explorer, its ownership changed over time. In 2004, it was bought for the last time by a Toronto-based adventure company named Gap Adventures, which then changed its name to MV Explorer. No one foresaw that the ship would not be owned by any other company in the future. By 2007, MV Explorer had completed 250 successful trips to Antarctica. However, in November 2007, it had to embark on a journey from which it would never return. It was November 2007, and MV Explorer was set to embark on its 19-day journey. The journey was scheduled to begin from the port of Ushuaia in Argentina, heading to Antarctica via the Falkland Islands and Georgia Islands. On November 11, 2007, 100 passengers and 54 crew members began their journey to Antarctica. Everything seemed normal, and no one had any inkling that this beautiful journey would lead them into significant trouble. Bengt Women served as the 49-year-old captain of MV Explorer. With over 1,000 instances of navigating ships in ice-filled oceans, women's extensive experience provided a sense of security to the passengers. Despite their considerable experience, ship captains in Antarctica face new situations due to ever-changing conditions. As a result, they encounter fresh challenges each time they navigate through these waters. At the beginning of the journey, the captain made a strange and unusual decision. Instead of following the planned usual route, he opted for a different path, hoping to avoid dense ice and reach the destination smoothly. The first 10 days proceeded entirely as planned. On November 22nd, as the sun was setting and passengers were returning to their cabins, MV Explorer entered a region with extremely high ice. The captain announced that they were navigating through an icy region cautioning passengers about the likelihood of repeated collisions resulting in considerable noise and disturbances throughout the night. Due to the darkness, the captain reduced the ship's speed to a modest 5 knots, approximately 6.2 miles per hour. Gradually, the ship transitioned from an area with thin ice layers to an expanse of thick and old ice. Unfortunately, the captain couldn't foresee this development at 10 p.m. due to poor visibility. At midnight, the ship abruptly came to a halt with a loud sound. Initially, no one grasped the reason, but it later became apparent that the ship had collided with a hard piece of ice, causing it to come to a stop. Since the captain had issued an earlier announcement, many passengers didn't pay attention to the sound and continued sleeping. After a while, the captain successfully maneuvered the ship again, and MV Explorer resumed its journey, slicing through the ice-filled ocean. However, both the captain and the passengers were unaware that the thick ice cutting had created a hole in the bow of the ship. By this point, water had started collecting in the bottom area of the ship. The sleeping passengers awoke as their cabins began to fill up with water. Since the passenger cabins were situated in the lower part of the ship, water started accumulating in them first. 
The sight of water instantly caused panic among the passengers, and fear drove them to run in different directions. Water was entering the ship from various points and openings, including light switches, ducts, and door cracks. By the time the captain grasped the situation, the majority of the cabins had already filled up with water. Initially, they thought the damage was small and could be repaired. However, as the water level continued to rise, the captain realized that the situation had escalated beyond control. The captain then issued a panic signal to the passengers, and lifeboats were promptly lowered and deployed for their rescue. In the meantime, the ship had exited the ice waters, but it tilted to one side due to the accumulated water inside it. Crew members were occupied with the urgent task of emptying the ship and making efforts to save all human lives. The ship was still 29 miles away from its destination, making it impossible to reach with a damaged ship. Additionally, the frigid waters of the Antarctic Sea posed another significant challenge for the passengers, as surviving on lifeboats for an extended period was difficult due to the icy winds. The captain initiated sending SOS signals to other ships for assistance, directing signals to the National Geographic Endeavour and the Nordnulge. However, these ships were also at a considerable distance and couldn't provide immediate rescue. Meanwhile, water began slowly accumulating in the separator room of MV Explorer, where the ship's entire machinery is installed and the power for the entire ship is sourced. Due to the water filling up the room, the ship lost all electricity. MV Explorer found itself at a standstill in the dark, remote, and cold sea. The ship's engines had shut down, leaving it adrift at the mercy of the sea waves. Apart from the evacuation, the captain was concerned about the possibility that the cold winds and waves might push the ship back into the thick ice area if the engines were not restarted. Due to the lack of electricity, attempts were made to manually start the engines. Fortunately, the idea proved successful, and the engines roared to life once again. The crew members hurriedly continued the evacuation process, and after some time, all passengers were on the lifeboats in the cold water. The captain and crew members tried to stabilize the ship for a while, but eventually the engine shut down once again. Now, MV Explorer was rapidly filling up with water, and the captain had to make a decision quickly. Consequently, the captain and crew members also boarded the lifeboats. Now these 150-plus people found themselves in lifeboats in the cold and icy southern sea. The ice-cold winds added to the difficulty of waiting for help. The wait persisted for four hours and finally a rescue ship arrived to assist them. It was the Nordnold ship to which the captain had sent the SOS signal for help. All survivors were saved and rescued, but MV Explorer ultimately succumbed to the water. An investigation team was formed to look into the disaster involving MV Explorer. The investigation concluded that the disaster occurred due to the incorrect decision and error of Captain Bengt Women. He mistakenly believed that the ice was thin, only a year old, when in reality, it was a thick layer that had accumulated over the years. As of today, the shipwreck of MV Explorer rests at a depth of 1300 meters, 25 miles southeast of Penguin Island. We trust that you found this video enjoyable, and we encourage you to share it with your friends. Take good care of yourself, and don't forget to stay tuned for our upcoming videos.